Hi, how's it going? In the last video, we were almost finished setting up our physical device or really selecting our physical device. We were about to start looking at the logical device. However, before we do that, there's one more thing that we need to look at, and that is the Q families, which we're going to use from our physical device. A physical device, think of it, you know, it's a graphics card, it's something. And the graphics card has a bunch of different memory operations that it can perform. It can do general computation, it can um, do graphics work, rasterization, and the like. And um, in order to accomplish that, it has bunches of common functions um, kind of together. These are called Q families, and these Q families are indexed with integers. What I want to do is I want to grab the Q families from my system, one to do graphics work, one to present to the screen to do presentation work. To start with, I'm just going to make a class to store the um, indices of my Q families that I'm looking for. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these as none to begin with, and then um, at a later point, I will replace them with integers representing the Q families which are appropriate for each of these operations. I'm also going to make a function to indicate whether um, both of these have been set. So if either of them has not been set, then it's not complete. Awesome. Now I'll create a function which will actually do this um, populating. So I'll go right down the bottom. And this one will be called find Q families. Okay, there it is. So um, I'm just going to set this up. If I go to the main, just as a stub, I'm going to put this here just to check that the thing works. Okay, let's just, uh, I've missed something, haven't I? Yeah, so of course we need to actually check the, what have I done here? Indices, it would mean nothing. Okay, so let's do this instead. Let's go um, get the Q families supported by the device we go. Q family properties based on the device. And then we'll go with that, right? So what this does is it returns a list of uh, Q family property um, objects, each one corresponding to a different Q family. Huh, what's going on here? Maybe because I did the indentation wrong. Okay, now now it recognizes it. I think it was the indentation. Okay, cool. So there are three Q families available on the system. Great, good to know. Now you want to loop through these and get some properties for them. So let's go for So we want to know a few different things. What what does this Q family thing have? Well, basically Q family is a Q family property structure 
which is defined here. So we have a bunch of fields, um, Q flags, Q count, all of that. So I'll just kind of make a note of this. Okay, so it says here, um, Q count is the number of queues supported by the um, family, which has to always be at least one. Okay, uh, but Q flags. Q flags is a really important thing. So this is where we check what the queue can support. And here we have the kind of fundamental operations which a queue can support. Graphics operations, general compute, memory transfer, sparse memory operations quite a lot. So I'm going to use this information. All I'm really going to look at is the queue flags. So we're going along, we're looping along, we'll say if Okay, so what we're checking, we do a bitwise and, and this is just checking whether um, the queue supports, I'm not sure why it's complaining. It's just taking a long time to lint, I think. It's just checking whether, yeah, that's right, whether the queue supports our graphics operations. And if that is the case, then we're good. So we can go, Okay, cool. But then note that we have not really setting the present family. Well, as we see here, there's no explicit bit for setting a present family. It's a little more complicated. Basically what we do is after we, um, it's not as simple as just saying, can you present? It's we create a surface, we check, can we present to that surface essentially? which we're going to get into at a later point. So for now, we'll use the simplification that um, present family. We we'll use the sim simplification that most consumer devices which can do graphics can also present, okay? We might be working with a, a really like hardware device which only supports um, like offline rendering, like a render farm or something, but most of the time when we talk about a device, we're talking about a graphics queue, that'll probably work. Okay, and it's also probably nice to know um, whether the thing works. So we'll go just print out with the queue family that we got. Alrighty, so it turns out the first one on our list is suitable for both graphics and presenting. Of course, we kind of set it up that way, didn't we? But later on, when we look at surfaces, then we'll make this a little more complicated. But for now, um, here it is. This is what we did today. Um, so I want to kind of demystify this a little bit. We have a graphics card. The graphics card has bunches of functionality which support various things, and they are referenced by um, integers. And again, this Q family in indices uh, class is just basically a set. We're setting things inside it. Anyway, hope you had fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.